razor wire remains up along the U.S.-Mexico border even after the Supreme Court ruling allowing federal immigration officials to remove it. You can see it here, uh, Texas officials setting up more razor wire yesterday in Eagle Pass. The barrier is part of Governor Greg Abbott's security initiative to stop illegal crossings. Our Camila Montoya Galvez is in Eagle Pass with more on this story. The border town of Eagle Pass has become the new epicenter in a legal clash between the Biden administration and Texas Governor Greg Abbott over the future of U.S. immigration policy. Earlier in January, the Texas National Guard seized this public park right behind me and has since heavily fortified it with armed soldiers, vehicles, razor wire, and fencing. Texas has argued that the razor wire is repelling migrants from crossing into the country illegally, but the Biden administration has said that it prevents Border Patrol from processing migrants who are already on American soil. The Supreme Court earlier this week allowed the Biden administration to cut and remove the razor wire assembled by Texas, but Texas National Guard soldiers are still blocking Border Patrol agents from processing migrants in this public park in Eagle Pass. In fact, we saw Texas soldiers this week assembling new coils of razor wire and fencing. The Texas Department of Public Safety is also now arresting some migrants who cross into the U.S. illegally here on state criminal trespassing charges. The Department of Homeland Security has referred this matter to the Justice Department for a potential legal action. Camilo Montoya Galvez, CBS News, Eagle Pass, Texas. All right, Camilo, thank you.